testing strobe and nav lights. All right, we're testing the USB ports that Dad plugged in here, so we're going to see if I can get a good angle here. All righty. Hey. We have lights. Other side over there, too. Also working. Now the real test is, will it charge anything? Hey, I've got a red light. Fast charging, 33 minutes to charge. It's a good sign, we'll check the other port now. We've got power there. got power there. Okay, good enough. Good deal. USBs are ready to use. Okay, guys, going to wire a few switches today. I just wanted to show you uh, some of this vertical power setup. It's really interesting. You, you go through these processes. It shows you getting started. And the system settings switches you just start at the beginning and fill it out really simple uh, when you get done you get to your uh, electric diagram here and it shows you your complete electrical diagram shows you which switches or which power supply goes where I like your landing lights and your strobes and your garmin uh, 460 in your autopilot it puts them on there for you you can move them around but this system is split down the middle I don't know which way these two anyway the system's in two parts so you can lose half of this system and still have uh, the other half going so it divides it up the way it knows best to keep everything going so, got everything wired up except the switches here, and we're down to them here at the bottom. And this is the way it laid them out. You can change them around whatever you want to uh, for however many switches you need. This is all the switches I'm having. So, as far as I know, that'll work for me, so I will number them that way. And we come over here to the V power. Like I said, it for as far as your power, this replaces breakers and, and everything there. You feed one main. Let me shut this fan off. You feed one main power into here in your vertical power. All these power this is power for everything on the plane comes out of here. Uh, you just plug it in. 
uh, you tell the box during setup if this wire needs to be a three amp breaker it assigns it as a three amp breaker if this one needs to be a seven and a half amp breaker it assign, you assign it a seven and a half amp breaker so it's really easy to wire the power side of things uh, switches are all Let's see if I can get up here where we can see. Switches are all on here, which you see I have one put in. I still have to put uh, the rest of them in. But all you do is wire your pins and plug it in. And then you will route the wiring to your switches, which will be wherever you decide to wherever you decide to put your switches on the dash, where well, you will wire wire them onto there. And there again, once you get the computer up and running. Matter of fact, you don't even have to have the computer up and running. This has an Ethernet cable. I can hook it to the laptop. Go ahead and assign each of my switches. They have no power on them, as far as I know. Just a, you're just grounding it. But you can assign through this through the vertical power what you want each switch to do. So say when you turn your avionics switch on, you can how many items do you want it to turn on when, on one button? It doesn't matter. You can assign any of these pins that will be plugged in here. You can assign any of them to come on when you flip that switch. Landing lights, you can I have a high and a low. Uh, I have a taxi light. They're both landing lights, but one of them on a tail dragger, of course, points out while you're on the ground, and one of them will be pointing up into space while you're on the ground, and it'll be right when your tail comes up. So I'll have a taxi where just the one on the ground that's, that's lighting your way is on and the other one that'll be pointing up in the control tower won't be on and then when you get ready to take off you can flip it up to the high side and that will run both lights and uh, it just takes one switch and have them plugged into here to turn them on so it's really handy it helps wiring up a lot it uh, you know if your light bulb burns out this thing tells you on your computer hey you turn the landing light on there's no amperage going to it your bulb is blowed out uh, if your battery starts to get a bad cell in it that thing says hey you know you've got low amperage on your battery you've got a problem so it gives you a heads up long before anything happens and uh, the ease of wiring is just amazing as far as that part Garmin side of it, not so easy to wire in my opinion. But that's just, I'm a first time builder, so. But the V, v power really made the power wiring part easy. All right, so if I can get this camera set down here somewhere where you can see. This came, your vertical power. Your vertical power comes with a number of boxes, with a number of wires, I have this uh, five wire non shielded wire left over so I thought why not use that for the switches that'll save me a lot of trouble when routing the wires I have about 10 switches I think so two of these will about take care of all my switches so this one uses uh, male pins so we'll put one on here Uh, I've already got it stripped, but I want to go through one complete wire end with you. No big deal. You see professionals do this online. So we'll say this wire here is the one we're going to do. You put it through here and you gauge it uh, for your ends. After you do about a hundred of these, you won't have to have your gauge anymore. You simply strip it off like that. And then once you have it stripped like that, you twist it good and then you put your end on on there it's almost as bad as threading a needle when you get to these little bitty this is 24 gauge you put it on there and see just a you got just a hint of wire sticking out under the end that's exactly what they tell you to do so like I say, after you strip about a hundred of them, they'll come out good. Either that or you won't be as particular, I don't know which. And you stick that in there. 
and you have four clicks. You click that if you can hear that. Once you go to the fourth click, the, the thing will squeeze down farther, but I find it bends pins if you if you go any farther. So so it's it has worked for me. When you get to that fourth click, stop. As far as you need to go, let it off. It, it will not release until you get to the fourth click. The other ones are locking clicks. So once you get to that fourth click, stop. If you go any farther, uh, I don't know if you can see the teeth in there. Or not anyway. The if you go any farther, it'll actually bend the pin. This is 24 gauge wire. Now most of what you wire with is 22 and 20 gauge. And then of course you have all the way up to 10 gauge. You will use, but not a lot of it. And then of course you have four gauge goes to the battery. Okay, like I say, after you trim it, be sure and spin it good or else all of those will not, if you don't spin it good, all of those will not go into your connector. You'll have one hanging out. You have a witness hole right here. I don't know if you can see in the witness hole. Probably not. Let's see if I can get that to focus. I lost my witness hole now. There, if you can see the wire show up in that witness hole. And then, like I say, I'm not down onto the rubber here at the end. I have just a little bit of, of uh, wire showing, and that's what you want. You stick it in there. Click her four times. One, two, three, four, and stop. Let her off. Always give them a tug. If you can, can't, if you can pull it off, you want to redo it. So those are good. And that's pretty much all there is to putting pins on. It's just a tedious, slow process. I mean, there's nothing at all hard about it. It's just monotonous. Over and over and over. So I'll get these other two on and then we'll go plug these in so you can kind of see that process. It's not real exciting either. But. Okay, we've got these these all opened up here and we got them labeled. There you go. We got them labeled to match these labeled. So now we're ready to plug them in. Okay, we got our plug-in laying out here, and we've got our good eyes here on our son, and he can mm -hmm. match the pin numbers with the holes they go in. Which for when you get old, those little numbers are pretty hard to read. Crap, we ain't even recording. Oh yeah, we. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is the that. one that moves. Yeah. <laughs> to reheat that one. Okay. That's all there is to it. Once you get them in, we like to stick them back where they come from. I don't know if I can get you far enough around to see that, but. 
There it goes. Plug it back in, make sure they all fit good. And now we're ready to route our wire. Route it up down this bar here. Down this bar, back across back across this bar, all the way over to the switches will be under the G3X. So they'll start all the way over here and come back this way. And that's all there is to it. We just kinda wanna show you. We just kind of wanted to show you what wiring one set of pins was. There's a whole bunch of those on here. Nothing to them. It just takes a lot of time. And All right. We'll see what else we can get done. Okay. Here's the finished product. It's routed up semi like it's going to be. Ran down there. Over to there. And then they all right, end up right here and they all come off one at a time to the switches which will be under here. So each wire will go to its own switch. So that's pretty much how you do it. Alright, that's pretty much how we did it. I have to get a heat shrink put on here to finish this wire out and then of course all these wires will be mounted in place uh, with, I don't know where it's at now. I have, here they are back here. I will put it in tubing like this. I will put it in a tubing like this. It's, it's a split. Split type, really tough material. Uh, just for uh, wire looms and stuff like that so it'll all go in there I have a thicker I have a three quarter inch for this so anywhere I won't do every square inch probably a lot of people do it looks really nice anywhere though like it's any chance of rubbing anything like under there uh, up to there where the rudder cables are uh, a lot of this up here, if it's in a bundle, if it's already in a bundle like this, I probably, they'll all be tied together at one point, eventually, and uh, we'll just have to see, just whatever I'm in the mood to do this time, <laughs> but uh, we'll get this all purdied up when we're done, but there's no need in purdying it up as long as you're still adding wires. Okay guys, that about wraps it up. I'm gonna shut her down. Probably go load this load this video up here tonight. We uh, just got home from Oshkosh a week ago. Had a really good time up there, got to meet a lot of you guys on there. Had a really good conversations with you. Could have talked for another week myself, but a lot of guys I didn't get to meet that I was looking forward to meeting, but uh, a lot of you I met I didn't have any idea I would meet and uh, is is good to get to know everybody. We're gonna call her tonight, and we'll talk to you later.